Good evening. An 18-year-old man's been arrested on suspicion of murder following the death of a teenager who was stabbed in Birmingham last night. The victim's been named as Josh Ribera, a promising young rapper who was attending a fundraising night for a friend who was stabbed in the city a year ago. Yvonne Brissett reports. Teenagers lay flowers on the street where their friend Josh Ribera was stabbed in Selly Oak last night. The up-and-coming rapper, known as Depp's man to his friends, died in hospital in the early hours of this morning. Why walk with a knife? Why is everyone walking with knives for? Like, what are you going to achieve? Just took an innocent life. Look how young he is. You know what I mean? He ain't going to grow up, have kids and that. You know, his, his music career is doing well. Doing you know what well, I mean? You go on YouTube, thing, he's doing very well. When I heard about it on Facebook, it's just tragedy, really, innit? In one of his songs, the teenager mentions his ambitions, including one day becoming a father and making his parents proud. Police say Josh had spent the evening at a fundraising event for his 16-year-old friend, Carl Sheehan, who died after being stabbed in the city a year ago. We're trying at this stage within the investigation to understand the connections between the young man who lost his life last night and that event uh, and continue to appeal for any witnesses um, and any information to help us understand what went on. Earlier, an 18-year-old man handed himself into police in Dudley. He's been arrested on suspicion of Josh's murder. This is the fourth young person to be fatally stabbed in Birmingham in the last six months and the second in the last week. The victim was just 18 years old. It's five days since 16-year-old Azim Azam died at a bus stop in Mosley after being stabbed. A 17-year-old's been charged with his murder. I think it's important that agencies, the council, the police and the community, and in particular our young people, pull together to send a very clear message that carrying a knife is totally unacceptable in society. West Midlands police say they've been working hard to reduce knife crime, but tonight Birmingham is coming to terms with two needless knife-related deaths in less than a week. Yvonne Brissett, BBC Midlands Today, Selly Oak in Birmingham.